the Middle East how to determine whether it is the food that we're eating is halal or not halal. Um, whenever you dine in a place which is certified by the government, it serves halal meat, then it is halal and you're not blameworthy. Whenever you buy from the grocery store and it says halal and it's slaughtered in a Muslim country or dominated by Muslims, then it is halal. If there is any deliberate mistake, then you're not blameworthy. It is on the person or the persons who deliver this item while it was not slaughtered lawfully. Unfortunately, we know that most of the meat in many Muslim countries is imported from non-Muslim countries. And they believe it is sufficient to find the term halal on the box. I can assure you, brothers and sisters, this is not sufficient. I've been through that, I investigated that. So Muslim countries should actually have their own food, uh, halal meat, providing and processing and distributing, because this is a big amana. So when the Minister of Health or the Minister of Food and Nutrition uh, provides the customer something and say it is certified as halal, they should do their job. It isn't sufficient to sign a contract with a company from Brazil, for instance, or from even the USA or any country to ship the meat and they say it is halal. To me, literally, it doesn't mean anything. I say to the lemon, when you eat it, it is halal for you because you trust the country. You trust the government. This is their duty. This is the, their job. I don't want to make things difficult for you. But I'm addressing those who are in charge to be God-fearing and to investigate. They will find horrible facts. Make certain that if you're going to import a big quantity from any of these countries, you have your inspectors to go and inspect. How do they slaughter? And even leave a person there to keep inspecting at least the shipping which is coming to the Muslim countries.